I'm just going to show you our hydroponic system that we have set up here. It's a drip and drain style and we actually have four rows of the drip and drain and then we have four buckets over there and those ones are hosting tomatoes and peppers and they're doing fantastic. The reservoir holds the nutrient water and it has lines going up to each one of the individual PVC tubes. They're in no way connected and we've decided to use a drip and drain system so what that means is there's a half gallon per hour dripper in each of the cells and that is set to go every 15 or excuse me once an hour for 15 minutes um, during the day during sunlight hours and then for nighttime hours it goes a couple times during the night just so they don't dry out and that is flourishing we have a lot of greens growing here a lot of bok choy we tried a seed mix system and the bok choy grows so fast so next time we're going to try um, leaving the bok choy out with the mixed lettuce and see how that goes We've had our tomatoes growing for quite a long time here and they're doing fantastically. We just picked a few this week and we have more growing. Um, so those ones just have a bucket of nutrient water and an air hose that's coming from the air pump back there and that's a six splitter air pump. So this one um, just has the, the tube for the air with stone on it and it's doing fantastically. The tomatoes just love being in the buckets. And then we have a pepper over here that's doing really well. We just picked a red pepper today and uh, it's pretty set it and forget it. For the buckets we do need to fill them more often. The tomatoes seem to suck quite a bit of water so uh, those are filled more frequently especially as the plant is older and producing fruit. Um, this one not so much. The lettuce doesn't take up as much as the tomato. So it's nice to have the tomatoes separately in their own buckets because otherwise they would just be going through the nutrient water like crazy. Uh, but we've had a really fun time doing this and it's producing a lot of food for our family and now that we have these tomato plants going and we live in Hawaii we don't have to keep replanting them we just need to take care of them and they'll continue to produce fruit for us. No need to start over from seed. For each of these there are a separate PVC tube and this is a three inch size tube and we have one inch nut cups that have the clay pellets inside that host each of the plants and along the length of each of the tubes is, is its own separate dripper line with the half gallon per hour drippers on them and that seems to be working out pretty well the only thing that we haven't liked about this is on the top row especially towards the end here it doesn't seem to get as much water flow um, from the pressure the pump is working to fill all these so it can be hard to get enough water to the end ones up there. I think our next model if we do this style again would probably be to flat uh, to basically put this flat um, so that all of the tubes are at the same height.